So, Kale. Here we are. Here we are. The last time <laughs> we were trying to do this, what we're trying to do in Sun Yat-sen Garden, which we couldn't, which is we were confined in a space and there wasn't, I won't call it contrived, but there were just like trees and other photographers. Now we're actually on the street and we can sort of do what our, our passion is, which is street photography, right? Yes, exactly, absolutely. So yeah, I mean, just being in an environment like that, you feel forced that there's certain photographs you have to take, you know, yes. like there's like, because the garden is laid out so beautifully, yeah, you yeah, feel yeah. like, you know, there's a composition I have to take. And yeah, yeah, yeah. So here, yeah, we're kind of, we're loose on the streets. Yeah, so we'll, we will stop at times and discuss a little bit. Yep. And as well, we will actually sort of share our techniques. Yep. And one of the things I was really, up until this morning, I didn't just, I wanted to do a X100T head to head. Battle, but, yep. But we're, we're not being paid by Fuji. This no. is not a fluff piece, yes. although we love Fuji. Yes, true. But, but I also love Ricoh and we love Leica and we love Pentax. We love cameras. Brands. We love cameras. Yeah, so, in general. So for me, I did ask you, you know, pick whatever you want to pick. And so you picked the X100T. Yeah, of course, this is, I mean, honestly, uh, you know, I really battled. I was like, should I bring the 645Z? Z. <laughs> there it is again. You can see it any way you want. <laughs> okay. So, I, I, yeah, I was really thinking about it, but then I was like, you know what? I mean, that wouldn't really be my, it wouldn't be myself. I wouldn't carry that camera on the, street. On the street. Although yeah. you could, but yes. I wouldn't. So yeah. this is my absolute go-to, the X100T. It's my go-to camera. Yeah. Like I said, every day, this is the camera that I carry with me to just make photographs of life. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So this is playfully, it's X100T. Or just yep. say Fujifilm X100 versus yep. Ricoh GR. Yes. And it seems like amongst street photographers, there seems to be these two camps. And so these seems to be the go-to camera. So let's uh, go around and some, take some shots and... Well, before we do that though, I would like to, I'm interested to know yes. what settings does Take use? Cause that's like, you know, a lot of people want to know, you know what I mean, out there. Oh, 100% manual they everything. Don't understand. <laughs> All light, the time. Light meter. Only out of camera. Out of camera. <laughs> yeah, straight out of camera no, only. No, <laughs> yes, right. No, I only shoot raw. Yeah, I should have a raw only. Yeah, um, I like it raw, right? I think that's a hip hop song. Yes. The kids used to listen to. If you have the memory <laughs> speaker, okay. So I think we even talked about this before too, about yes. memory cards. I like 16 gig for myself. Yep. When they're too big, they just sit around too long for me. Yep. And I think you mentioned they tend to fail. Yeah, or just the, the chance that it happens. I mean, you know, you have people will fill up a huge card and then on their vacation and lose every photo from it versus yes. shooting two or three cards. Yes. Me too, I use 16 gigs, my biggest size that I'll use yeah. on this camera. And, uh, and they go higher speed, like pay the extra for the faster read write speed absolutely, yep. instead of going 64 gig, but a super totally. slow speed. Cause I do shoot video with this, yep. okay. but um, like you, I do shoot aperture priority yep. because exposure conversation is so quick on these compact cameras. Mm -hmm. Actually the Rico, it's just this thumb toggle switch. Okay. So wow. It's very fast. And ISO adjustment is just this toggle switch. Oh nice. So you don't even need to look. I know right away if I go click, 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 and if it's in third or half stop ISO yep. and third or half stop um, exposure compensation, I know very quickly what I'm compensating. So okay. I think like many street photographers, aperture priority, because aperture is the most important factor I feel for street photography. It's not your shutter speed. Like I don't care if it's one two thousandth or one seven fiftieth. Mm -hmm. I'm not doing horse racing yeah. and you're trying to capture something perfect. It's how much depth of field do I want in exactly. my image. Exactly. And so once I have that depth of field, even the ISO doesn't matter that much to me because unless I'm doing uh, work for a magazine and you want super crisp, so you're trying to shoot at the lowest ISO with the, you know, the least amount of noise, yeah. then you're watching the balance of ISO uh, aperture, shutter speed. Yeah. But for myself, ISO 800 for the street, sometimes 1600 as it gets a little bit dark. Okay. So I can shoot at F8 and still get one five hundredth of a second or okay, a thousandth wow. of a second. So I can freeze the moment and get as much, much depth. I don't go for, I use, I like this because of the 28 mil wide angle. So you're never going to get much bokeh. You're not, you're not going to yeah. get much out of focus yeah. area versus shooting with a 50 mil, yeah. right? You can get that nice separation. Yeah. I can't get that with this. So yeah. I've learned to see everything in focus. Mm -hmm. So without using, I don't want to call it a trick, but sometimes it is an easy trick to just blur, even this video, to blur out yeah. the background. But yeah. you know, there's a, there's a reason for that. Yeah, of course, yeah, but yeah. But on the street, I've learned, well, compositionally, how do I try to focus the attention to the part of the scene that I want people yeah. to look at yeah. without using a shallow depth of field yeah. as the one hat trick. Exactly, and I think that's a, that's a big issue is that like, you know, in street photography, it's not only the subject that is important, it's the environment that they're in. That is, I mean, they're equally important to each other. Yeah. And so if you're shooting at 1.4 or 1.8. Or 0.95. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you're like, yeah, I got this crazy. I mean, but you're not, you're, you're losing the, the point of 
for myself at least, of yes. making that picture, the environment being so important to where you are. So yeah, myself, um, I try to stick to low um, ISOs. I don't know why. I mean, the noise that is produced in these cameras, even at 800 or 1600 is very little. Yeah. It's hardly noticeable, but I kind of like the challenge of it. You know what I mean? As the light starts to come down, I find ISO 400 will be probably the highest I'll ever oh, really? go. Wow. I don't think I've ever, I mean, maybe when I was shooting like a birthday for my little, like niece mm. or something, mm. and I'm like, well, you know, it's dark, it's a bit darker in here. Yeah. So I'll go up to 800, but yeah, I shoot aperture priority. Um, like, I'm just like you. I think that the most important thing really is, is, is controlling depth of field yeah. and allowing the camera to, uh, to just control the shutter. Yeah. Um, I also shoot, you know, usually a third stop under with yeah, these Fujis. Yeah, that's smart. That's a great thing. I don't know, and and also it just kind of gives you that extra little boost of shutter speed that just in case. Yes. You know what I mean. Yeah. Uh, what else we got going on here? Yeah. Um, so we I so I'm at I'm at 200 right now. I'm at yeah. f 56 Okay. So I'll so go between five six here. and eight is where I'll probably float you know, between. I'm at 400 now because I'm getting good speeds. Yeah. But as we start shooting street, I'll probably go to f 6.7, and as I check, um, see I'm at. Oh, here, I have my lens cap. <laughs> One of the things classic, we classic, right? Yes, yes. There you go. There you go. I'm happy I don't have a rangefinder like a, a whole roll with a lens cap. Yeah, exactly. On, right? Like, oh, that was like, oh, and then okay, you Okay, so yeah. 400, so I'm getting. There we go. I'm getting <laughs> one two hundredth of a second. You know what? You can still get a bit of blur. Yeah. So I'm, I am going to go ISO 800. Now I'm getting one five hundredth of a second. Okay. At f6.3. You know what? I'm in third stops. I actually tell people I hate third stops, and now yeah. here I am in third stops. Yeah, of course you um, are. But uh, okay, so that's how I want to be set up. You're yeah. set up. So uh, yeah, I'm like, I am getting 200 through right now. Two at five six. Really? I saw 200. Notice we're still not walking. Yeah, I know. We're so just, yeah, we should probably we should probably get this well, going. Wait, let's just start. All right. Let's start walking. And yeah. Then so we'll... we're, we're let's tell these people where we are. So we're. Oh, no, yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of important, right? Yes, the environment yes. we're talking about, the importance, so how important the environment is, this, and now we're. Yeah, so I mean, Lakewood. And Pender. And Pender, but basically it's behind near like Hastings and basically between Nanaimo and Victoria Drive. Yeah. And I yep. love this. Hastings Sunrise, is that what this area Hastings is called, Sunrise right? Is yep. what it's called. Yep. I like this area because it's this mixture of residential and then on, on the on the north side, of, south side of Hastings. Yep. And then on the north side, it's all industrial or industrial mixed use commercial with yep. apartments. Yeah. So it's a great area to take pictures of construction workers, factory workers, you know, we're at Dairy Queen, yeah, enjoying yeah. Dairy Queen products. And you Not just me because I'm off the sugar. The set. So we have, <laughs> didn't your pop have some sugar? And anyway. No, I did. It's, oh, okay. I'm, it's ginger ale though. It's the ginger, ginger is good oh. for you, right? It's yes, good for of course. the stomach. The ginger. Yes, of the course. Ginger. But uh, yeah, I like all the mix of people and it's a great place to shoot streets, so yeah. I'm glad we picked this spot. Yeah, it was. Yeah, I'm, I'm, me too. I'm excited. So I guess we should do this. Are we ready? I think yeah, I'm. I'm getting. You're getting I'm, antsy. I'm getting antsy. So let's, okay. let's get All going. Right. Like this. This is really cool. Like how would you shoot this? Like, does well, this yeah, you? Like, yeah, I mean, like, yeah, I, 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 for sure. I, I think to me, to me more, the, the composition doesn't seem that alluring. It's yeah. more the colors and textures. Yeah, yeah, exactly, right? exactly. So, um, like, so for you, you just wouldn't take the shot. No, I would take the shot, but I would. I already took one of the front of the house already, actually. Oh, 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 I see, <laughs> but I, see. I mean, I would probably want to compose it in a more, like, I would shoot it from this side here. I would eliminate to, to everything avoid, that's happening here. all that, right? Yeah, oh, cool. because I just want to see the textures in everything that's here, right? So. And I'm just gonna, I'm even gonna crop the edges out. I just want the texture of these different yeah, things yeah, that are yeah. happening here, right? Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, I, it's funny, you know, just the process that goes through your mind when you're composing a photograph and when you're, you know, it's this instant of when you see something that catches your eye and you think, I don't know, in the beginning, maybe you think about it more. I think myself, I for sure, I thought about it, I was like, hey, you know, I gotta think of the golden, the golden rectangle and yeah, the yeah, thirds yeah. and everything. And yeah. now it's just this very instantaneous sort of thing that just happens naturally. And I mean, you're gonna get pictures that work great and you're gonna get pictures that don't work great, you know? And I feel like the ones that don't work great in general for myself are the ones where I overthink it. I'm gonna put my hat on. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's hot out here. So yeah, it's guys, it's we're, we picked it probably the worst time to shoot this video because we're both really busy guys. Uh, and it. it's super hot. The sun is right overhead. It's All right. just, it doesn't get any worse. So that's what the challenge I think is for both of us is that we got to try and make some good pictures in yes. less than ideal light. Although yeah. that means nothing and you can make a great picture in any kind of light. Doesn't that's matter. right, that's right? right. All right, so there's actually some pretty colorful like uh, yeah. storefronts on this side. Yeah, for so sure, let's, yeah. Uh, so let's get on to Hastings here now, I guess. Let's to, yeah, we're gonna have to. Yeah, so I mean here I could see a great thing that could happen here is is having somebody 
you know, I mean, a person coming around the corner like we just had this one here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Where we're trying to catch them in a way that they're going to either oppose what we're seeing here or yeah. whether they're going to complement it, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So. Can I take a portrait of your face? You look fantastic. Well, I love <laughs> your green hat. Green, can you tell the green's my favorite color? My shoe it's is a green. Guy too. Green and stabilo. Green and out. Yeah, it's a green day. I like it. I love, yeah, I love. Do you know Stabilo? Yeah. Of course, it's the it's the it's the pencil pencil crayon. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. I was I was in drafting. It's in a, traffic? It's a, it's a draft. I, it was in drafting. Yeah, it's for going on like glass. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's like a preliminary yeah. pencil yeah. you draw on and then you can like wipe it off. I did. Yeah. I use it in the sign industry. Exactly. It's yeah, yeah, sign exactly. Painters. Sign yeah. guys. Yeah, ah, yeah, cool. yeah. So that tells you right there, a little yeah. something, right? That's right. Exactly. So. Exactly. Can I, can I take one here too? We're doing oh. a little bit of a camera. We're doing a little camera Go challenge nuts. here. Awesome, man. Great. You should get me in front of my shop here. Yeah, oh yeah, oh, for this, sure. We'll take some after. Shop? This is perfect. Yeah, let's oh. do that. We'll shoot him up here then. He's a bike rider too. Yeah. And you got a little mini growler on your... Uh, so yeah, there. This guy's ready for a hot afternoon, right? All right, right so... This is perfect. You talk, you talk right. through your process. Okay. Yeah, awesome. Which beach are you headed to right now? Crab. Crab Beach. Awesome. It's a great spot it's over there. Beach. Yeah, it is. So yeah, I'm just... I love what's happening in the background here. Yes, there we go. Good. This guy's an amazing character. So, thank you very much. That was hey, awesome. My name is Kale, by the way. Kale? Yeah. What Talk are you guys Kale. doing? You're out like on a... We're, we're photographers and we're making a, a video here about sort of a little camera challenge in the neighborhood where we're walking around taking photographs of just whatever kind of street photography style. Yeah. Nice. Um, and so, yeah, we're just... We're just doing it. doing it, man. Totally, yeah. But it's, on the but it's, but it's yeah. my but it's my turn. Don't go away, please. Are you busy? <laughs> I know I already stole like four shots, but you know what I want to do? I want to juxtapose your face with this faded poster. I, ha I have this thing with faded uh, hairstylist posters. Uh -huh. yeah. You know how they all tend to fade yeah, yeah. in the sun, the, yeah. and, they, and they never smile. That's kind of a half smile. The so, magenta. Yeah. Magenta. Well, it's the cyan that's coming out, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So if you if you back up even more. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like it, and it almost looks like she's looking at you. Secret recipe, right? So here. I'm gonna turn that off. Recipe. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm like it. Yeah. Look at he's like, like I'm getting the flash Seriously? out. Everything is going on here right yeah. now. All right, so. Oh yeah. <laughs> Are you sure you haven't done this for a living before? <laughs> you're 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 very good at posing. It's got model material right I, there. I think so. I think so. Like the like a hipster model. I'm the deep background. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I love it. So this is your shop here, is it? Yeah. yeah. So what do you what do you run out of here? I'm a painter. You're a painter. Oh, oh cool, man. Of course, Stabilo. the Stabilo. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. Awesome. Well, so thanks, like, thank yeah, you so yeah. Much for, what was your name? Sorry. Your Kevin. Name? Kevin. Kevin. Kevin Dubois. Kevin Dubois. Yeah. Thank you. Awesome. Can we email you the pictures at all? Or? Courier Dubois. Oh, Courier, Courier Dubois. Dubois. Do you, you get a card? card? Great. No, I probably don't. Well, you want if, a number? If you don't, I will give you my card. How about that? Okay. And then you can email me, and then I'll get you uh, the pictures that we took. Yeah. Move. The brand's called Move. Move cards. <laughs> so my email address. So they'll there. slip that in there. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't work for Move, but I just like the take. take. Think of sake, the drink, and you just put a T in the front. Yeah. Take. Take likes the sake. That's right. right. Take blues singer. I love the is blues, that, actually. Stevie Ray Vaughan is. There's a, 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 a notorious Vancouver artist, Taki blues singer. Oh really? Yeah, it's his real name. Oh really? Well, I like it. Singers, probably not. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> That's probably not his real last name, yeah, but. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Very good, Mr. Dubois. Google Taki Bruce. All right, I will. Awesome. Thanks a lot, man. Enjoy your day at the beach. Okay, way to go, you guys. Awesome. It's a pleasure. Take care. Hopefully, Thanks we'll run into you again. Um, oh, so I was gonna say, like, with you know, in kind of my process there, uh, taking a picture, I shot, I took two pictures. Um, and it was great because the first one he put on the real like I'm getting my picture taken face right yeah. like the smile and everything but it was like I don't know it was like changing your height when you shoot too I got down low because yeah. I could see the clouds in the background produce this nice blue line across the top you see low but that's that my was, height but it was a I know but for me you know what I mean <laughs> so that's kind of like one of those things that you don't think about you just do it right you see it and you do it you don't go oh I'm gonna do this yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean it was this kind of this it's, but then on the second part of that he put on this like great tooth like, kind of missing tooth smile yeah that was like that was the guy's personality came out there yeah yeah and it's yeah, rare yeah. that you get somebody who can let that come out right away like that that's right you know what i mean yeah. most people will sit there and they're and you know and yeah, you gotta you gotta talk to him for an hour right yeah Before yeah yeah. You get well, that he, picture, yeah he was like i said he seemed like 
he's had his picture taken before. Oh, dude, absolutely. Like he yeah. was, he played Santa Claus before or, or, or something, yeah. right? So I don't know, you know, I love this. This is kind of a weird remnant of Vancouver, this tile, you yeah, know? Yeah, I yeah. mean, if I can find a spot without a car, and this family's walking across, boom, right now. Great this kid where, running up the stairs. This is where I get messed up because with 35, whatever you're getting, I have to be about six feet onto the street. Exactly, or else you're going to be getting this pole beside you here even, right? Yeah, so, exactly. Yeah, so, uh, you know, um, again, we're kind of like, you know, I was inspired by this purple building here, you know, it's just, and you can see what's going to happen next to it here. There'll be some luxury condominiums are going to come in here. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. thing is going to be piled to the ground. But it's great. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, came these family walking into the frame. Girl in this nice pink shirt that's yeah. kind of and you notice well even the the couple up in the top. Yeah, floor exactly. There. They're hanging out on their deck up there. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, yeah. you know that's the beauty of street photography is it's like you just it's just it's like I don't know. It's like sitting with a blank canvas and you can just do whatever you want yeah. whenever you want with it, right? Yeah. Like it's a beautiful thing. I just how could you not love it? Yeah. Right. Well, hopefully all this all this uh, traffic noise can. Uh, be overcome by our loud voices yeah, and, our, I hope so. and our mics, but uh, we'll just keep on going here. Yeah, we couldn't have picked a noisier place to really... Uh, <laughs> yeah, but visually, <laughs> but it's visually noisy too. Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. There's a lot of transition happening in this neighborhood, a lot of different things going on. I came from the film era yep. where you had to count every frame because you know what you paid for the role, you know what it costs to get it developed, you know absolutely. what it costs to get it printed. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's a big motorcycle day today. Um, so, but you sh seem to shoot like a film guy. Yeah, absolutely. You know, like, I mean, like I'll, as if that's film. Dude, I'll go on vacation for ten days to wherever. You know, yeah. whether and I'll shoot fifty pictures in that time. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, it's not. I don't think of it as this sort of like. I need to photograph every single moment that's going on. I yeah. feel like, I, I don't know, it's still wait for something special to happen. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Don't, don't, and also uh, there's lots of times you shouldn't take pictures too and enjoy those moments, you know, more so when you're on vacation rather than when you're on the street specifically looking to take pictures. You know, you don't want to be out there and go, you know, and say, ah, oh, I saw the, so the greatest picture happened right in front of me and I just didn't want to take the picture. You exactly. know, that to me, that hey, seems like kind of a contrived, crazy thing to say, let's, right? Let's, let's see if we can find... Yeah, no, that's right. for sure. Let's no, no, you're right, because, you know, we're both married men. Yep. And there are times where you have to turn off... Happily, very happily married. Very happily married <laughs> men. And um, we need to turn off that mode at times. Yes. Because if all you are is nerding out, taking... Like, if you and I hung out and our wives came, they would hate us. Yeah, of course. They'd, they'd probably like, go off and go shopping. Yeah. Or, or whatever, whatever. They would have to. yoga or, or something, yeah. because you don't want to. Now, how about stuff like this? Like, does this stuff like this even interest you at all like do you See, like billboards do you i do i do like i mean i i like them but i think that just for myself there yeah. has to be something else going on like for example if we had the guy coming out of the back there yes and yes. he had a look about him or he was carrying something big and heavy and awkward yeah yeah, yeah or yeah. it was just you know or there's a way i could work around him to make an interesting picture yeah. for so sure it's all about juxtaposition not always i but think often. it's often yeah often it is but it's also um you know like I'm like that moment right there where you jump yeah out. yeah for sure i mean i also love just the idea of for me street photography a big part of it is capturing real life as it happens too yes yes so people working yeah, yeah is a big part of that. Do you yeah, know yeah. the way people work? Um, yeah. uh, you know, there's a series, I think it's the Koyana Squatsi series, okay. um, which is probably some of the greatest visual films you'll ever see. I highly mm. recommend checking those out. Mm. All about people working. I think there's three films in the series and it's people working all over the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just how different it can be from a modern city to a third world country or mm. to a, a diamond mine or to a coal mine. It's incredible how you know how even in this day and age there's still people out there right now carrying big bags of coal over their shoulder yeah, yeah, when they yeah, can yeah. have a machine doing that same thing so we're almost now moving past street photography and you're you're talking about more um, documentary not only that but you're almost seeming like you're focusing on a theme in my brain yeah like many other photographers there are those many projects there and over time we build the pictures of the cars we build a catalog of the pictures of people working we build the catalog do you know what i mean yeah. that's kind of like when i look at somebody like um steve mccurry yeah who now he could till the end of time release series of images about anything people drinking tea people a, you yes, with him. a man and his son do you know yeah, what i mean yeah. and he has been shooting for i don't know 
40 years. Yeah. Uh, and he has this massive catalog because he keeps those themes in his mind, like you're saying. Yeah. Which is a very important thing and something that I'm very bad at. Is this guy going to back up forever? I, I, or? I think he's. I think he might almost hit this thing. No, no, he's good. We're clear. You're all yeah. right. But yeah, so it's, it's a matter of like, I mean, I think in photography too, without getting too rigid about it, you do want to find things that interest you yeah. and that intrigue you and build themes around those things. Yeah. Yeah. I remember you were telling me about a, a, a website uh, or YouTube series where they look at um, the actual Contacts. contact sheet. Yes, yes. Now, I come from the era of contact sheets. Yes, of course. And, and we were careful, like for instance, I would have five bodies or like, a, you know, two compacts, three SLRs, and yeah. this will have the Via 50, this yeah. has Corcom 64, yeah. this has Tri-X, you know, this has Portrait 400. Yeah. And you would grab the camera based on your theme because, for instance, when I went to Japan, on my GR, that was more about people. Yeah. But on my SLR, I wanted more um, ocean scenic. Okay. So you actually, you wanted a story on your contact sheet. You don't yeah. want like beach, beach, tree, beach, and then a family portrait. That's totally like, true. That ruins yep. the, the, the flow that's of, totally of your true. contact sheet. That's awesome. And wow, even that's the, so nerdy. The, the, that is the, amazing. The I think, love that. The it's... thinking was different back then. Of course. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. And now, do you think there's any relevance in, in digital photography to <sighs> make these compartments? I don't think so. Just to the sheer volume of photos that you can fit on a card. Yeah. And also, I just think of like how much and how quickly we can move from place like me and you could get on a plane and we could be in Los Angeles yeah. within three, four hours from now. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And I think that going back even 40 years, people maybe it was a, it was it was more luxurious to be able to do that. Yeah. yeah. And now it's a more affordable. It's easier for us. Yeah. So I think it's like we're more like building this big. We're just taking all these photos and laying them all out and then we shuffle them together yeah. where they fit into what, yeah. what we think they work in. Do you think going through alleys is a bit of a cheap trick or do you actually enjoy walking through alleys? No, you know what? You know what? I think alleyways feels to me where there's a subculture of life happening. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes, exactly. And I, and I often, when if it doesn't look too sketchy when I'm traveling or whatever, I'll try to get into alleys just because I like... Just a sec, I just saw a picture here I kind of like. Let's see if, it, if I can get in here. Oh, like an old car in there. Yeah, right? so here's, you know, okay, so going completely off theme here, but I kind of like this, the colors that are happening in here. I'm just going to pull these branches out of my way. I'm trying to guess the car. It's a Toyota. It might be a it's Supra. It's a Supra. It yeah. totally oh, looks look like a that. Supra. We said it at the same time. Boom. So yeah. in here, you know what? It's looking a little dark. And I like to, you know, I mean, I think it's such a funny thing the way... I think you have to bump it up above ISO 200. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I might have to here, buddy. I mean, I don't think that anybody should ever limit themselves to what they want to photograph or what they think they should photograph right here. Yeah. The great photograph happening right here. Yeah, you can see that. I can't see that. What's going on here? What's going on here? So there's a guy up there chilling in the window right now looking out oh, here, which is always like a great, I don't know. There's something about that of like inside the house, yeah. you know, it's our, it's a little bubble that we hide in. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. I just love when people look out. Yeah. When they're looking out, they're just seeing what's happening, but this guy's in an alley. So I'm like, what is he yeah, looking yeah. at? Yeah, really? Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? He probably heard us look, looking. a couple of, <laughs> A couple of jerks coming down the alleyway making all this noise and he's like, what is going on out there, right? Like, look, yeah, at look, this. look at this. Look at this place. This place, this place incredible. never seen this. It's like a wonderful little haven here, you know? Yeah, I mean, yeah, you have yeah, beautiful yeah. clouds kind of framing well, I'm gonna, up here. You can frame whatever way you want, but I I have my... You got your thing there? I got my See, thing this, is a tough, this is a tough thing for me to, to kind of... With to, the 35. Well, no, but I mean, just in that. general, there's so much going on here, yeah, right? Yeah, that, yeah. Like, I'm inclined to not to not know what to do, but I'm just going to poke sweet, around. Sweet panorama with an iPhone. Yeah, just, there you but go. you know, I mean, the There's problem talent. is, but when people look <laughs> on their phones, like we view a lot of images these days, yeah, yeah, yeah. unless you zoom way in, you can't see what's going That's on, true. unless it's a beautiful, it. unless it's a beautiful sunrise or a sunset. You know, I mean, these are street photographs. This is we're on the street, and we're making photographs, right? Yeah, yeah, I guess yeah, yeah. Oh, well, <laughs> yeah. we're kind of, you know, don't don't you know, we're not limiting ourselves in any way here, right? That's right. It's going to get loud here. So yeah, it go is. Into, yep. Let's go into shooting mode now. Okay. And I'm not that we can't keep on talking. You know, but, I'm um, listening to talk. I'm, I'm going up to 400, buddy. There you go. Going up to 400. I'm, I'm getting at crazy. At, at, I'm getting wild. <laughs> see, I'm at f6.3 at ISO 800. And I'm still getting one five hundredth of a second. Wow. So I could still okay. freeze the moment. Yep. And I'm dropping down 250 in the shadows here. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Boom. There you go. People at work right there. It's dark. We'll see what happens. Might be able to bring that out there. It's hard to see on the back of the screen, but whatever. You know, I'm not usually a guy to look at the back of my screen, but I feel like I'm no under a lot of pressure right now, and then I need to 
know that I didn't bump my dial and like, and I'm like three stops under now, just like underexposing everything to hell. So. so sometimes those shots end up working really well though, you know? Yeah, well, and again, that's another beautiful thing about digital is that we do, it's quite forgiving. We can bring those shadows out and we can still save a shot. Although, I don't know, I find myself that I'm not, I don't know, when I do that, I kind of feel like I'm cheating. You know what I mean? I'm oh, like, but, I took but, but, a really bad picture and now I'm going to save it by having technology, you know. But isn't that almost like darkroom though, isn't it? It is, totally. But I there's, I, I, I don't know, do you, th do you think there's more limitations? I feel like there's more limitations in film. Of course there are. In the darkroom than there is with what we can do now. Of course. But in the in end, you find in, that, again, is the story behind the image more important than the image itself that you create? So sometimes, you know, if that image True. has that impact, yeah. who cares if it was a mistake or not? Yeah. I mean, it's your body of work over your career that defines who you are, yeah, not but, the one shot. Yeah, but it's also, I feel like that personal attachment to that photograph and the pride that comes in it also is of from course, knowing that I made a good photograph. I didn't create a great photograph but afterwards. But don't you think even great chefs sometimes make a mistake and they put, you know, they put vinegar instead of honey and they're like, <laughs> wow. Vinegar in this cheesecake tastes fantastic. Yeah, it works, right? It but can work. But he can't do it every time. Yeah, exactly. If you do it every time, then it's like, well, you know, it's, exactly. It, it, it just doesn't work. Totally. But how do you feel about missing shots like that? Like, does it? Um, you know, I'm pretty good at letting them go. Yeah. yeah There's yeah. only been a few times, and it's more where I'm somewhere that it's maybe a place that you've only traveled to once in your life, mm. or that you feel like. I may never be back here. Those yeah. are the ones that you go, oh, hey, look at this. This is you. It's just coming. It's just perfect for you. This is like a this is like an Instagram filter happening here, but like through the process of time, right? Yeah, yeah Where exactly. Where the color's bleeding out and the sun's just sort of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually know that guy right there. That's really funny. Do you really? I do totally. I've, yeah, I've shot pictures of him before. It's amazing. I love it. <laughs> yeah, I actually started a hashtag called faded, uh, uh, sad face model faded poster. <laughs> That's so a big one, wow. I know, I, I just, there was, that was the shortest way I, I can make it, but sad face model faded post and I posted him before. That's amazing. I don't think I've posted her because she has a slight smile, but. Yeah. Yeah, she's showing some teeth there, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, it's that kind of, you know, that hard kind of serious look on their face. You know, one of the problems that a lot of people, when they get into photography, they use a wide angle. When you start trying to include multiple elements to make everything bound, even keeping the uh, horizon straight, you realize yeah. I thought it was straight when I shot it, yeah. and now why is everything crooked? And this is in the film days where you yeah. couldn't just straighten and Photoshop, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly, so, absolutely, yep. uh, those type of things, you realize, man, it takes skill to, yeah. to shoot with such a wide angle. Absolutely. And I've always appreciated the uh, skateboarder, snowboarding photography, extreme sports, where they get these angles where you're trying to understand even, like, yep. what's up? Yep. You don't even know which way is up. Yep. Is the camera upside down, or is the yep. photographer, is the, is the uh, skateboarder up? You can't tell. Yep. You know? I like I'm this guy to go. coming and yeah. I like the way yeah. his... Nice backlit see. situation here. Oh yeah, a bit Boom. too backlit. Okay, yeah. Uh, That's alright. I think right. I missed that anyways. Did you? Camera yeah. didn't come on. So we're continuing down here. I don't know, there's not a whole lot no, yeah, it's happening kind of, around here. It's kind of died down a little bit. Yeah, and it's you just know? all traffic. Yeah, exactly. It's just traffic noise. We're not seeing a lot of people here. But you know what? This is the time where we kind of, you know, we can... Let's talk. Yeah, where we can talk because we haven't done enough of that yet, I think, right? <laughs> you guys, did we do enough I, talking I yet? I don't... We've done lots of talking, so. but we can just keep on going. Yeah, totally, exactly. Until, you know, until, you know, we basically drop to the ground with exhaustion. That's right. There was a recent, I think, a debate with some, uh, well, uh, like a famous curator of a, of, um, a curator of a art gallery who's, who just blatantly said photography is not art. Yeah. You know, I do yeah, I refuse so to have it in any any proper gallery. In a, in a gallery or a museum space. It's a very strong space. statement yeah, for someone to see that today. It is, and you know what, I mean, I mean, it sounds incredibly cliched, but it's really in the eye of the beholder, you know what I mean? And that's kind of where, as we were discussing earlier, I really feel like the work of one of my favorite street photographers, Bruce Gilden, to me, is more on the side of art than on necessarily the side of street photography because I just feel like there's that intent behind the way he shoots, the way he extracts a, a reaction, reaction yes. from somebody when you're shooting that close, yeah. when you're shooting, it's such a surprise the way he shoots. Yeah. It's so in your face that how could you not react in some way? You know yeah. what I mean? And that yeah. feels to me as deliberate as if it was a painter, you know what I mean? And then, yes. so there's, there's, I mean, we could go on for hours and hours about it. I think that um, in street photography, I definitely think it's an art. 
Yes. It, it, a street photograph could be considered a piece of art yeah. for sure. But my own philosophy we'll being, here yeah, too. sure, we'll head off this way here. Yeah. My own philosophy more is that it's, it's more of a documentation of life. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? I'm thinking long, you know, maybe even after I'm gone already yeah. and that you're looking back, people in the future will look back and see this is what life was like. Mm -hmm. In a way, I think that's where uh, someone like Fred Herzog has been accepted into the realm of serious street photographers because it's 30, 40 years later. You look at the cars on the street, yeah. and now it's like, wow, that's a, that's a that's a 57 here. Chevy. Yeah. And you don't see many of those around. Yes. When he shot it in 57, no, oh, you got a phone call coming in. Yeah, I'm gonna just pause that there. Sorry, uh, go ahead. Yeah, so back in 1957, that was just like seeing a car like this. It was just mm -hmm. a modern car. Nobody saw any nostalgia. Nobody saw a slice of life because it was current life at that time. Yeah, exactly. So nobody yep. cared about that car. Of but, course, but it, it took, was the norm. It took 30, 40 years to marinate before people look at it and like, wow, that Salvation Army doesn't exist anymore or that building's there, but there's a new building next to it. Yeah. And all of a sudden, why wasn't his pictures accepted 30 years ago and now all of a sudden today it is, That's right? kind of the beautiful and oh. weird aspect of nostalgia though, you know what I mean? Is it's like, it's just natural that it takes time for those things to marinate, you know what I yeah, mean? It yeah. takes time for us to be detached enough from that period of time for us to appreciate it in a different yeah, yeah, way. Yeah, exactly. You know? It's great, I, I review equipment and you yep. have a new toy. Yep. It's a tool, sorry, not a yes. toy. But it can be a toy if you think about yep. it. But if that's all you focus on, like, wow, my photography is stagnant, time for a new camera. Well, you know, maybe there's, there's obviously more things you can work on other than equipment or just being influenced from the outside. Yeah, it's a, it's a delicate balance though, because even myself as like somebody who obsessed in the beginning over gear and all these different things have just stripped it all away like in the studio i was like super excited to have five lights for the first time yeah, yeah, yeah. and then now i'm shooting mostly with one light yeah. why because i went through that phase of learning of i course. went through that phase of of geeking out on it and trying out all those things and yeah. then you start to understand that they're not necessary to make a great picture yeah, yeah. but at the same time uh, you know, I mean, I'm thinking about my back to music, music again, you know, yeah. of course we always come back to this. As a drummer, there are drummers I know who use the most basic kit ever, but Five can get, but no, not even, I mean oh, like really? using a kick, a snare, a ride and a hi-hat, yeah. but they can get a hundred sounds out of yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's incredible because you have to be so creative and you have to learn to use what you have. Yeah, yeah. And that's kind of what I hope every photographer will go through is that the time when they have all those you know, like we saw in the digital rev there. The, I love the last video that he posted with the. the I can't remember. Uh, yeah, the guy. He had, yeah, he, well, yeah, he had. Yeah, all he the had different, the, just all those the, the cameras hanging out the hoarder. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Right? I love that because I, I think we need to go through Big that. High. We need to go through that in yeah. order for us to get to a place where we understand we don't need all that. Of course. We've uh, finished our walk here. Not sure we really stayed on track very well. You know, it kind of started off talking about the cameras and. I, I, was, I was wanting to do an epic challenge. Rico GR <laughs> versus the X100T, but maybe we've just made it so that we have to shoot again. Yeah, I think so. This is the, I mean, that, and we're gonna need more focus next time. But uh, but but this That's has been lovely weird. though. Focus. You mean exactly. like focus? Focus. Oh, you mean focus? I mean like focus oh, in our focus. brains. Oh, yes, yeah. yes, and yes, what focus. we're talking about. We need somebody cracking the whip here saying, yes, hey guys. Yes. We need our right. wives. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. 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 Anyway, right. this is uh, awesome. so much fun. Thank it you has. again, Yes, Kale, thank you, my friend. Yeah, absolutely, bring it in there, buddy. Thanks a lot, guys. Thank you, Take. It was thank a pleasure. You. Yeah, thank you for watching. Are we gonna click click it? Uh, we have to because we okay. didn't do it in the beginning. All right. So let's we'll we'll close we'll close with a click. So thank okay. you everyone for watching, and Kale, thank you for coming. Yes, my and, pleasure. And uh, we will uh, close off by click click. So okay. thank you for watching. Ready? Click click click. click.